Honorable Chief Minister of Karnataka, H.D. Kumar Swamiji, my ministerial colleagues, R.V. Deshpande ji and Priyanka Karge ji, Ms. Kete Jones, Honorable Minister from Queensland, Australia, Honorable Alexander, Ambassador of France to India, Honorable Rio Kuru, Ambassador of Estonia to India, Sri Vijay Bhaskarji, the Chief Secretary of Karnataka, Onkar Rai, and want to mention specially about two, three people in this race. So this could able to, we could able to organize this Bangalore's tech summit. It is not the only government. It is the industry led by Kiran Majumdar ji, Chris Gopalakshna ji, Krishna Kumar ji, and many others eminent people, they are actively involved and guide us to conduct this thing. Because of their cooperation, we could be able to do it. Of course, our Chief Minister, Kumar Swami ji, he had given unconditional and inspiring support for us, not only for this summit, entire industry, whenever we approach him, you always give a positive note and all my ministerial colleagues in the cabinet also and of course we got a young talented team of young officers who tirelessly work the success not only for this tournament i think for entire karnataka industry's growth every industry in karnataka i think all fortune 500 companies most of them they are in karnataka it was early Karnataka is known for only backup office or a call center. Today the complete things have changed. Today this become a digital capital. Today R&D centers are there, deciding as done by our people. And I want to congratulate the talented young people who the tech savvy people of Karnataka and Bangalore. They are seeing that Karnataka and Bangalore become the famous in not only in the Karnataka in India, but I've been to France with my colleagues, I've been to Estonia, I've been to Finland, everywhere they're appreciating Karnataka startup and Karnataka innovative ideas of real people. So with these words, I want to thank all of you. There's a lot of dignitaries come from various countries, there's a lot of delegates and also the eminent personalities are here, district guests are here. I want to congratulate and welcome all of you for participating in today's this Bangalore Tech Summit. Karnataka was the first in the country to recognize the growing importance of formation, information technology and biotechnology. We framed suitable policies taking input from the industry to ensure the growth of ITPT sectors in the state. Karnataka believes in designing policies to suit the changing needs of the sector. The emerging disruptive technologies have been taken into consideration while framing the policies of IT, BT, electronics and animation and gaming. Under the startup policy, state government has taken concrete steps to help build up the ecosystem and institution and infrastructure required for growth of disruptive technologies. Disruptive technologies such as artificial intelligence, big data, IoT, machine intelligence, blockchain, robotics, drones, etc. are going to drive digital economy in the years to come. The state government has taken initiatives to set up centers of excellence in these disruptive technologies so that we are prepared with adequate resources to ride on the new technologies for accelerating the growth of economy. In order to ensure that the seeds of entrepreneurship, the innate ability to innovate is directed in the in academic in institutions. New age incubation centers, centers name have been set up in 33 education institutions across the state. The NAIN scheme is being implemented in phases. In the first phase, nine colleges were selected. In the second phase, 10 colleges. And in the third phase, 14 colleges. A sum of rupees 40 lakhs per college 
he given us government grant. Technology Business Incubators, TBIS, in institutions of higher learning with well-developed R&D facilities to foster a strong link between R&D and commercialization of technologies are being set up in ICT, IoT, software, product, electronics, robotics, healthcare, agriculture, clean tech, energy, nanotechnology, etc. The government grant is given toward the capital cost of equipment and recurring costs of management of TBI for three years. Incubation centers and accelerators have been set up on PPP mode with the government grant for a period of three years. State in the incubation centers, the seats in the incubation centers are subsidized by the government while metro mentorship is provided by the industry. Common instrumentation facilities, CAFs have been set up in association with the industry in electronics, mobiles, IoT, etc. CAFs are also being set up in animation and gaming on PPP mode. Brownfield ESDM clusters for electronics have been sanctioned for Bengaluru and Mysore with the support of METI Government of India. Innovation is the mainstay of our economy. We have adopted Innovative Karnata as our new plan this year and vigorously pursuing initiatives that will take the state of Karnataka to a position of global leadership in innovation and entrepreneurship. The government initiatives have led to the growth of a startup culture across the state. Over 1,000 startups are being incubated in different technologies in different places. Industry bodies such as NASCO, IECA, ABLE and ABAYE have supported government in providing necessary inputs and mentors for the 58 KTEC innovation centers set up across the state. Majority of these KTEC centers were inaugurated during the current year. We have set up Semiconductor Fabulous Accelerators Lab in association with IESA to promote hardware equipment and semiconductor chip design and development. And Agri Innovation Center has also been set up in SICA to net promising innovations in the agriculture sector. The Center of Excellence for Design, set by the state government, will provide continuous engagement with the tech community to encourage and develop new designs for the emerging tech products. The digital economy impacts each and every aspect of life today. Industries such as financial services, hospitality, travel, supply chain management and advertising have already been revolutionized by the digital revolution. Going forward, other traditional industries such as agriculture, manufacturing, oil, gas and real estate are also getting impacted due to the new technologies such as IoT, blockchain, artificial intelligence and advance in biotechnology. One of the key factors holding back India's growth in the traditional economic setup was lack of physical infrastructure. With the world going digital, we can take advantage of the changes and rapidly create technology and digital infrastructure to support digital economy. While physical infrastructure takes both time and substantial capital investment to establish, the technology infrastructure can be established at a much cheaper cost and faster. Our vision for 2020 is that Karnataka be the first choice of innovation and technology globally and therefore all our initiatives are aimed at driving and strengthening the innovation and entrepreneurship ecosystem in the state. I wish to extend my heartfelt good wishes to all the participants in Bangalore Tech Summit 2018 and also assure the government will support and stand by the industry in all its innovative ideas. Thank you.